now we have a gas equilibrium problem. But our approach to it will be very similar to our approach to a liquid or solution equilibrium problem. Here we have the equilibrium concentration of all components as the objective, and we're mixing together moles of carbon monoxide and water vapor. So, at the start, let's draw the columns of the various materials and put the numbers in under those materials. At the start, we have 0 0.50 moles of carbon monoxide, 0 0.50 moles of water vapor. We'll put all the numbers in moles. 0 and 0. We allow the system to equilibrate and let's say we produce at equilibrium y moles of carbon dioxide and y moles of hydrogen. That means that by the stoichiometry, y moles of carbon monoxide have reacted as have y moles of water vapor. Now the equilibrium constant for this reaction equals 10.1 equals once again we don't have the vol well we do have the volume so we can put it in why but as we shall see it really doesn't matter As you see, the form of the equilibrium constant is familiar products over reagents. Once again, the volume cancels out in this particular instance, and we have that y squared over 0 0.50 minus y, all squared, equals 10.1. Once again, we can take the square root in this case. And y over 0 0.5 minus y equals the square root of 10.1, which is 3.18. We'll put in one more significant, one more figure than is significant, but we'll round it off at the end. Solving that for y, y equals 0 0.38. So, the equilibrium concentrations, which we can represent as the square brackets of CO2, which equals the equilibrium concentration of H2, equals 0 0.38 moles over 1.00 liters, moles per liter. And the equilibrium concentration of CO equals the equilibrium concentration of H2O equals 0.5 minus 0.38, which equals 0 0.12 moles per litre. This is actually quite an important reaction. It's called the water-gas shift reaction. And let me say a little bit about it. The 
It's called that because if you treat hot carbon with water vapor, you can make a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This is a useful source of hydrogen. But the carbon monoxide is really not that useful. It's a toxic gas and we would rather use it for something else. Well, that carbon monoxide is now delivered into a reaction with further water vapor. The reaction does require a catalyst. But from that reaction, we, we can make relatively innocuous carbon dioxide and a further mole of hydrogen. So this is a useful way of producing hydrogen from solid carbon, which you obtain from coal, coke, and water. It's an endothermic reaction, and so uh, you need to pump energy into it, but it is a useful way of preparing gaseous hydrogen.